Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. This is the third time I've tried to record this. The first time I was using Vipers 389 and it didn't have any audio. The second time it didn't record. So I hope this time it, it did record. We're using SCS's W900. The truck today's running modded uh, Cummins N14. 18 speed eating full of transmission. We're, ha we're hauling a reefer trailer. And we have some frozen vegetables, I believe. Uh, frozen fruits. And we're going up to Barstow, California. Barston, California. We're in Bakersfield. And it should take us, uh, we got 174 miles to, to do it. And we got 3 hours and 52 minutes. Let's get on the road. Now I've been trying to record this, uh, like I said, three times already, and this is the third time, so hopefully we've got it right. It's the same thing, I recorded an episode of LS54 and it had no body. I hope everyone's doing well. I do apologize for no uh, content on the channel. Um, I do have a full-time job and sometimes I just I, I do not have time to do what I want to do. So I am sorry for that. Hopefully it'll get better. We can be bringing more. That's what I want. SCS is working on Utah, if you haven't heard, they did release some more photos of Utah and it does look very well. Um, still have not got a, a new truck this year. Don't know really what, what really is going on with that. Last we heard, you know, they are working on two. Um, and right now, my two favorite trucks of, of SCS would have to be the, this W900 and the Nothing against the T600, the, the, the T680 and the 579, they're great looking trucks, just like the Volvo v and N, but I like these conventional trucks like this. Now when the Air National comes out, you know, I may change my mind you know, about the Air National, but as of right now, Yeah, I've tried to record this. This is the third time I've tried to record it. The first time I recorded it, it recorded fine. Didn't have no audio, no, no microphone audio. Second time I recorded it, it didn't record it up. So this is the third time that I am trying to do this.
second fill looks like. Our home base, Bakersfield, California. So I do apologize, guys. Like I said, I, I do apologize for not putting anything out. It's not what I want, but you know, sometimes I don't have a, a choice. Of it. Oh, they got us for speeding. Oh well. We're still running all of Jazzy Cat's uh, traffic mods. Um, running uh, the MHA Pro map. I'm not running coast to coast because you can't run coast to coast and MHA Pro map together. So I would I would prefer the MHA Pro map over the coast to coast. We're running no modded trucks. All the trucks we're running are stock NCS trucks. And uh, that's something that I want to touch base with. Uh, on this video. Now, I have nothing against modded trucks. I think, you know, these models, they do a great job. They, uh, they make great trucks like Viper 389. I've tried to make it, make this real with that truck. That's a great mod. Hands down, probably one of the best mods on the workshop. Um, but I just assume to run it's in these trucks because I mean really and truly this is basically what it, you was driving for a company would be like uh, pretty much a stock truck you wouldn't have uh, something that's customed out unless you use a owner operator but if you drove for a company most companies they buy back you know, they stock is what they And these trucks are great, you know, if you, if you get the engine sounds that SCS does are terrible, but you know, these modded engines back and out there, it, it makes a lot of difference with these trucks. It makes it worth driving to me. Now, for me, as I did say, my two favorite ones is this one here and the, the 389. International comes out and some engine packs come out. Most likely, you know, that probably that may be another one. You know, I'll have to, we to have to drive it and look at it and see. I mean, the Volvo is okay, yeah. but it's not really my type of truck. cruising on this route. We gotta get over. I just checked it by. Well, we, at least we can say this, it ain't raining. I had some drivers and I fired all of them. 
sold all the trucks. Cause I was gonna do something different. Um, if you haven't known, you know, since the last LSP department that we did do, uh, Rockstar has updated the game twice since then. The Casino DLC has come out for multiplayer, and the launcher update, which really messed up a lot of stuff for me. Uh, finally got a thing back working. It's uh, not doing too bad. It's having some false starts, but that has something to do with rage plugging up. There's been nothing that I can do about that. That's a rage plugin hook issue. That's something they, that they'll have to fix. We'll go ahead and leave that up. We're about 20, almost 30 miles out from our, our location. So we'll, we'll just leave that up. We're not doing this. Go to hand turn and come back down. Yeah, that road work made us a little bit
So we're back there. Right around the corner here. Dropping this at Walgreens. Using the real company's mine to some thing works up. Alright, where they want it. Probably next to the wall. No? I'm surprised. I say one thing about this, this is a good looking truck. I wonder why I, I back like this. I don't have a um, track R and without track R it's, it's almost impossible. It, you can do it but it takes a lot longer to do it inside the cab with no track R. Okay, we drove excellent. We drove 187 miles. It took us 5 hours and 40 minutes to get here. We consumed 45.2 gallons of fuel. Anything here? No. We're not going to pick this up with a, a reefer trailer. It wouldn't make sense. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. Like I said, this is the third time I try to record it, so hopefully we got it in this time. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and have a good afternoon.